Ryan's driver going today? Well, that was sweet, wasn't it? So smooth. Yeah, From smooth Republic zip. of Korea, Sanjay Im. It's 151 here for Louis after a beautiful mm. opening drive, just a nine iron. Just a, just a nice little gully at the left hand side of this green. Right at it, Nick. Looks yeah, beautiful. Skip up. How about that? Oh. Louie. Just perfect spot right below the hole. Five and a half feet. Get his second round started. Nick, oh. oh. Well, you can't do that when you have such a great yeah, second yeah. shot. To two. And who stays in with the driver? That's looking good, Trevor, isn't it? Man, he's going for that tee yeah, quickly, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, I mean, that's... You lost it for a little while at uh, Kiwa. What you said was the best. Smooth. Just a perfect sand wedge for him. Might even try and land it a touch long and spin it back. Stands so is... close to those short irons. Oh. oh got the bounce. Man. Took a terrible bounce there off the collar. But stays on the green. He just seems to have the perfect game for this tournament. Yeah, I agree. And demeanor. Doesn't run a roller coaster too much emotionally. Pretty even kill. That's the kind of thing that you need. Brooks Kepka talked a little bit about that, about that's what made the course a little bit more difficult in the afternoon. It's just touch left of the flag. Which is nice because it's uh, not as big a slope over there, so it's that's a great aiming point there. He's on the same level as the pin, even though he's a little further away. We're back to three now. Oosthuizen for the birdie to get to five. Runs it by. Shouldn't be a problem. Nick, this is a tough driving hole, but if you do hit this mm. fairway today, it is a birdie opportunity. This hole collects from everywhere. 146, just a perfect pitching wedge oh, for him. Oh, Louis. Go. The first quicks, will it? That, that, that. <laughs> I thought it might hop forward. Okay. A little over 20 feet here, Sansi, with some good right to left in it. It's got some steam here. Oh, yeah. Scoots on by. It's just, he's in control. And I think at a U.S. Open, that's the biggest thing. 134 here. It just seems in control of his swing and his demeanor and... Doesn't like that one too much. This is headed out to the right. Just suddenly forces two wedge mm. shots, and tempo was different, wasn't it? And he mishits them. Louis Ustase in front of the bunker. Much easier shot than can't lay head. Just chis oh. chisels it up there. That was. Now the tee is up. I think you've got to go right over the stump of that big tree. Finishing line. Looks like Louis loves it again. Four bunkers down oh. the left. So guys are trying to stay out of there. Even though Rom just hit a beauty. But he's got the swing dialed yeah. in with the driver, Nick. Looks beautiful. He's still tied for the lead with Richard Bland and Russell Henley. Here he is hitting his second at the sixth. Steve Sands pleased to be alongside oh. Sir Nick Faldo. And that was not a smooth swing. Yeah, we've, we've been enjoying that the tee shots have been great. But suddenly a uh, couple of iron shots have been a little loose. Golf course gets firmer and faster. Third now for the co-leader, Louis Oosthuizen. Well, the, the little stab a hole before worked. That one didn't have enough air under it. Are there any rules to speak of from the USGA? We welcome in Ben Shade as we go back out to the action now. And the sixth, and say hello to Trevor. Thank you so much, Steve. That's Oosthuizen's putt to save par at the par four. So... A bogey there after a perfect tee shot. As he may need to go a hair right and try and hook it. 165 at the front, 185 total. Really good contact here. Most, That's really good out of that yeah, line. Yeah, most difficult green to hit. All right, so John Wood, good leave for Louis Oosthuizen in terms of a miss. We talked about that yesterday, this for the birdie. And the share of the it lead. was out of that fairway bunker, 60 feet here up the hill. Nick, with a few struggling swings the last few holes, what did you used to tell yourself? Talk about physics or? No, I'd like to see 
So that was great. See, my left shoulder come under my chin, then I knew I completed my backswing and then commit to a follow through exactly as he did. That was back to the Louis tempo we've been. Louis getting comfortable. Will he get back to four under? No, not yet. Now back to nine, Ustazen. 104, and he's struggled with his wedges so far today. Yeah, he's missed a few out to the right, hasn't he? This looks much better. Okay, that's well done there from Ustazen. Hasn't gotten anything out of his round yet so far today. Oh. Man, he was on the move yeah. early there. So he's missed a couple of short iron shots out to the right. That putt out to the right. It's on a good line. A little bit right of the flag. You get up a little bit, I think. Yeah, didn't catch that solidly. Let's see if Louie can do a little bit better than Patrick back in this bunker at 11. It's just we've seen that time and time again on this 11th hole. Just so difficult if you hit it in that right bunk. Yeah, I, my name's on top of the list here. Louis Ustays and out at 11 for bogey. So Louis hasn't been as sharp the last few. But right there at two under. Decent life from the rough. He's carrying a seven wood, and that's a perfect club for this shot. He can definitely get there. Just a solid oh, hit. Just needs to get a hair right of that bunker. Go, go, go. All right, not bad on the upslope. Sound like a pretty solid strike. Louis Ustazen from this front left bunker on the upslope. Not a difficult shot. Pretty good shot there underneath the hole, straight uphill. After that nice bunker shot, straight up the hill for his par. Patrick Cantley putted before him, and he made his par. The tee shot of Louis Oosthuizen. Really hasn't gotten anything out of his round today. Had some good opportunities and missed some greens with wedges, and this one's headed right. Mm, in the thick stuff. 112, and this is a tough wedge to get close. You got uphill, extreme uphill, downwind, ball coming in so shallow. Just a tough one to judge. Can't get left of it much. The swale will catch it just like this is going to. Yeah. Good distance. Yeah. You got to almost play right of that flag stick, which brings in a lot of trouble over there if you're going to get those wedge shots close. I mean, Patrick Cantley has already missed his birdie putt. Now Louis Oosthuizen. Yeah, Kurt, this putt has a lot of straight in it, I think, up the hill. He's been putting the ball beautifully all year long, really. He's improved it tremendously. Louis second at 14. He's had a ton of these today and has not been sharp with wedges at all. Missed two greens on the front. And this is just going to tend left as well and catch that slope. Driven it great today, just has not been sharp with the scoring clubs. And who stays in this for birdie? An unlikely one here, Terry, but uh, you never know. He was talking about the bumpy Poe early this morning when I was talking to him, but uh, he's got a chance here. Oh, yeah. Unlikely, huh? It's Louie. We Louie. Now, really, with the last few holes, when when you realize, okay, my, my player needs to know, you know, say 18 coming up, that uh, he's got to make birdie or something to, to really have a good chance of making the cut. I believe he's looking 15 to 20 feet left of this hole. This is absolutely right at it, Kurt. Asking for it to go a hair, but a great line. Uh, get up on top and hit it what will. A shot. Yes, sir. That's right about where Rom just made his par putt from. Terrific tee shot right there. After that great tee shot, Lou Eustazen has this for birdie at 16. Whoa. Boy, he's been stroking it great, but that... It's a little ugly. Settled for par, which is always a good score at 16. But after that tee shot, his expectations went way up. 111, Peter, downwind, just a perfect sandwich for him. And he's been a little shaky with the short irons today. Very shaky, and that looks like another one. Yeah. Strange. Sure Strange day with his short irons. Louie. 
with this really difficult pitch here to the right of 17. Oh, wow. He has managed this game beautifully today, scrambling six for eight. Yeah, Terry, 233. This is his favorite club, he told me earlier today, seven wood. Should be able to hit it high enough to stop it on this green, and this is a bright at it if it's enough. <laughs> mm, not quite, but okay. Other side of the grandstand now. Louis Wu stays in that morning wave finishing up. Louis trying to get it to four. He was there to start. And back again, 71. Even par after the 67, so he shares second place with Russell Henley.